Hey everybody and welcome to another Redone Let's Play and today we are doing Legend of Zelda Islands of Death from Zelda Classic. This is my first ever ZC quest. Anyways folks, hope you guys will enjoy it. Yeah, say goodbye to that low quality version the second this one goes up. <laughs> Anyways, Red Mage Adam and other ZCers, hope you guys enjoyed this quest. Let's press on. Hopefully my sound and audio are good and everything. I had to mess with the settings a little bit off camera. Here lad. Take this fine wooden sword. Good luck on your quest. Thank you, old man. Now die! <laughs> I'm sure he got my point. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, my first bad joke of the game. And kind of overused too, but whatever. Anyway, start off killing some Octoroks. Always fun. Yay, rubies. Okay, let's go to the right. I think level 1's gonna be in this direction. I haven't played Islands of Death in close to like a year and a half. Ever since I did my low quality version of this game. Oh, I'm so happy I finally got ZC working again. I mean, Eddie's also doing my uh, Zelda Classic Quest right now. Unfortunately, some of his videos are desyncing and stuff. Hey, having trouble with that stub? Take this and it should be no problem. Yay, power bracelet for the win. Hell's friggin' yeah. Alright, yikes, four tech tights. Go away, evil one-eyed spiders. Give me hearts and rubies. That's all you're good for. Sword in the eye. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring and uh, ruby grinding first. Before I head to level 1. Hope you guys don't mind. And also, a little note, I tried to do Cartoon Network Racing off camera again. And unfortunately, while it does work a lot better on no GBA, it runs at normal speed. The problem is, when I record it with V-Dub, it goes right back to being slow again. Just like Desmumi, so... Yeah, unless someone can figure out how to fix the speed when it comes to recording the game, then I think I'm going to be going back to Final Fight 2 as my next LP, so I don't know. CN Racing, it just lo looks like the universe just doesn't want me to get CN Racing done. But I'm always, I always get an obstacle thrown in my way. Here, take this art container. Have faith in your abilities. Thank you. I just gave that old man a heart attack. Wow, two bad jokes already. <laughs> I'm sure I got plenty more where that came from. And now we got four heart containers, which is awesome. And I think that's all we can get right now. According to my point in the game. Gah, I really wish I could remember my own quest. If I get lost, I might refer to my low-quality uh, version of this game just to get myself back on track a little bit. Hopefully I won't need to. Alrighty, we're heading to level one now. Enough dawdling around. I should get through it just fine. I can beat my levels pretty quickly. I right, push that little green rock out of the way. Now we got a bunch of red and blue levers here, all cluttered up in this little rock maze. And this next rock maze on the other screen here looks like a goldfish cracker. I don't know why I shaped it like that, but whatever. <laughs> I guess I was just trying to be unique and different. That and I love goldfish crackers too, so sue me. And we got a nice mix of red levers and octorocks on the screen. Yeah, watch out when you come on this screen because the first time I actually played through my own quest, I got caught by surprise by the levers. It tends to happen. I mean, the desert scenery should give it away a little bit. Oh crap, I missed that octorock. Die! Haha. Wooden sword ownage. Hurry up, boulders. Yeah, I got a nice little Armo statue, uh, sanctuary there. Kill the blue Octis. Alright. And here is level one right here. Get all these Doctor Rocks out of the way first. There we go. And enter level one. And we have the Dr. Wily Skull Castle music playing from Mega Man 5 for this level. And I love that ca I love that music. Ah, poopies. Stupid bubbles deactivated my sword. And just killed the PC Stalfos pretty easy. And push the rock in and we go north. Yeah, we should be cruising through level one. And just stay away from the Gorillas. Keep your distance and use your sword beams. Best way to combat them this early on. Ooh, that boomerang almost got me. Alright, I'm gonna use the bush as cover. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this Gorilla to get further away. There we go. Aha! I blessed you with my wooden sword beams of death. Die, Black Gorilla. And I claim a key for my effort. Nice. 
and we shift on over here. Now we got a mix of Moblins and Octoroks in this room. I can't wait till I get the Boomerang so I can start stunning stuff. Alright, Blue Octorok. Well, I gotta say, I'm happy with getting ZC working. Yeah, my mood is a little down from Cartoon Network Racing not working, but whatever. Hey, at least I got Zelda Classic working well now, so... My mood is still good. <laughs> I'm sure one of these days I'll get CN Racing to work properly. Worst case scenario, I go back to my digital camp for that LP. I hope you guys don't mind. I want the game to run at a good speed and still have decent quality, so... It seems like the digital cam is going to be the best way to go for that one, unfortunately. This HD PVR I don't think could uh, be used for DS games and stuff. At least not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I'm trying to backtrack through this room. Not going to kill all the enemies again. Kind of pointless. Only if I'm low on hearts I'll do it. Run! Okay, now we got to go, the, go through the other half of this library. Now we got some gels here. Smite them with your sword. Or your bombs, but I wouldn't recommend using bombs on these guys. It's not worth it. Kill the jelly drops of death. Okay, what do we got here? Bubbles, bats, and Koreas. Ow. Bastard bat. Yeah, I'm gonna stay over here and snipe this Korea. I don't want to get a boomerang in the face. Boomerang does a whole heart of damage just early on, so be careful. Hey, Ruby, yay. Anarchy, yay, double yay. Triple yay, whatever yay. Fuck, ah, bastard. Gotta hate these shells. Yeah, I forgot I put enemy respawn. So that means if you leave the room, they're gonna come back again. So, be careful. Caught me by surprise there a little bit. This room is flooded with more Moblins and Octoroks. And the fairy helps. And more rubies, good. I use these five more important items later on. Now let's press on through this room. And more regular style posts. All skeletons. Ah, crap. Yeah, luckily they only do a half heart damage, that's not much. I should be able to get a heart back soon. And we get another key, lovely. Yeah, I know the level one map layout looks a little awkward. It looks like a Dodongo snake with a hump on its back. At least that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, you can take cover behind the blocks. The spears and the Octorok rocks won't go through it, so that's pretty cool. Use these blocks as shields. That's why I put them there, folks. Use the blocks to your advantage. Alright, now let's press on through the northern door. Trap filled room, just shoot straight up, and you'll get past them, no problems. Now, you gotta kill all the wall masters. Watch out for the bubbles, though. And the Stalfos, and the Gorillas. So much stuff in here. Oh, man. Hurry up, hurry up, get my sword back, oh, that's Gorilla. I'm gonna go over here. Plug you, plug you, die. And the keys is gone, now let's kill this last Gorilla and open that shutter door. Aha! We got bombs! I wonder who the boss is here. It's a Dodongo! Lovely! Alright, Dodongo. Come on, turn my way. Alright, fine. I'll walk up to you and kill you. Die! And I get another heart container and another supply of bombs. Lovely. And our first piece of Triforce! Epic! And just like that, folks, level 1 is complete. Onward to level 2! Okay, kill the Octorox now. Oh, right. Level 2, I know where that is. I just hope this recording comes out well. I just hope it doesn't desync or anything. Then again, I don't know, it could just be the Hypercam screen recorder. I tend to notice that as Eddie switches between the Camtasia, uh, not Camtasia, the Cam Studio and the Hypercam. It looks like both of them desync. I don't know why, but... I think V-Dub is more reliable. I never had a decent issue with it ever, so... I'm hoping that'll be the case with this game, too. Alright, uh, kill this Octorok. Uh, I don't know why I turned around like that. Oh, well. I'm just trying to kill everything quick while moving. Oh, God, whoa. Yeah, watch out. Don't hit the blue levers. You'll lose a whole heart. Yeah, blue levers can be a pain this early on. Especially with the... Oh, bastard. Caught me by surprise again. Damn it! Stop running into me! 
Alright, let's run through this maze quick before those blue levers pop out again. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you stay away from me. Yeah, back in the ground. I'll push this rock out, kill the tech dice. I want rubies and hearts and all that good stuff. Oh, fairy. That works just as well. Thanks, game. Yeah, we should be able to fit quite a few levels in this part. I think the low-quality version of this game, it took like 15, 16 parts to beat. Now that I got like a, my 20, 20 plus minute limit, we should get this game done in probably less than 8 parts, probably. At least I'm hoping. You can probably fit like 3 levels into each part. That's if I move quick enough. Uh, let's see, let's go down here and scope out the scenery, see if there's any hidden caves over here. I don't even remember. Okay, nothing. I think there might be something on this screen. Let's bomb. Nope, nothing. Continue. Aha! I think this is a shop, if I'm not mistaken. No thanks, game. I already got a fairy. Welcome! See anything you like? If so, I'll bring it up for you. Thank you, merchant guy. I shall take a blue candle first. And then I will come back in and I will get the magic shield, if I can afford it. If not, we'll just go straight to level 2. Ooh, I can't afford it. 50 rubies. Nice. Alright, just like that, got a magic shield and my blue candle. Lovely. Alright, let's go do level 2, guys. Yeah, we could quite possibly fit in level 3 also. Still got plenty of time left. Again, I just hope the game doesn't desync. Otherwise, I will cry. I will cry like a girl. Having done this video and then finally realizing too late that everything is all out of whack. Sorry, Octorox. Alright, cremated them. Alright. Kill more blue Octis. Continue on. Watch out for the Zoras. They're all over the ocean. Come on, Red Lever. Get back here. Gave you a splinter. All right, on this screen, got a mix of red levers and blue octorocks. I just love mixing and matching my enemies up. And note that you need the blue candle to access this next level. Why? Because there's bushes here. You want to burn them. And without the candle, you can't continue on. All right, guarding level two, we got a bunch of blue octorocks. Let's kill them. A couple speedy ones and a couple slow ones. Die. Boom. And now we enter level two without wasting any more time. And the music for this level is the Super Bomberman Stage 3 music. And I've LP'd that game, so you should know this music very well. Ah, well that's only if you've watched the LP, but whatever. Anyways, kill the Gorillas here, I got rid of the keys already. Haha, I blocked your boomerang. Alright, let's go get some bombs, there we go. Now straight down through this door. Kill all the snakes or ropes or whatever. Stick them in the head with my wooden sword. And we got a key for our effort. Yes. I kill all the... Actually, you know what? We're just going to ignore these enemies. Oh, I want to get that Korea out of my way first. I don't want him to plug me with a boomerang. And he almost got me. <laughs> Alright, now we got some soul tribbles up here we got to kill. Or regular souls, actually. We don't get the Zul Tribbles to level 4. Then again, I could be wrong about that. Compass. Push block, open door. Very simple puzzle. Alright, now we got some blue gorillas and keys in this room, along with bubbles. Ah, bastard. Eat flame! Yeah, you gotta watch out. The blue gorillas love to throw their boomerangs more frequently than the orange ones do. And they're pretty sporadic with it. Get over here, keys. Whoa, haha. <laughs> yeah, you keep doing that and I'll just keep stabbing you. That works. Get over here, fatty. Alright, he's gone. Okay, and here we got gels, which are gonna turn to zoles if you don't kill them fast enough, so you gotta move. Alright, oh. Ha ha ha, crap, I missed my fire. Oh well. If you swing your sword fast enough, you can kill them before they split up. Unfortunately, you can't for that one. But no matter. He's gone. And more rubies. Alright, in this room, we got a rematch with the Gongo. Watch out for the traps, though, as you come in the room. 
Come on, the Dongo, get over here. Boom! Yeah, plant another bomb immediately right after the first one, and you'll blow him up with smoke, and you can stop him with the sword kill him. It's a pretty uh, effective way to deal with the Dongo. Now for Keeson Zol slashing. Hopefully I can kill these. Yeah, the gels kind of blend in with the tiles, so it can be a little hard to see them. And I intended it to be that way. Makes the Zoles a little more trickier to deal with in this game. Haha. Alright, got a key now. And now we gotta go to the right to get the weapon of the stage, which is going to be... The Magical Boomerang. That works out well. And look at that. I didn't even use my wooden boomerang at all. That's how pathetic it was. I guess I just like more of a challenge and don't like to stun enemies unless I absolutely have to. It could just be that. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to the boomerang now. Because I want the magical one. Aha! We got a nice blue color. I love the blue boomerang. Alright, let's head north now. Alright, don't have to worry about the gels. Let's just continue this way. Ah, bastard keys. Watch out. Ugh. I hate it when they fly right low. Oh, boy. Yeah, this room's gonna be a little treacherous. Yeah, you want to stay in between the two tile walls, not like that. That plastic Goria caught me good. Yeah, the Goria's gonna be a little, uh, tricky here in this room. Oh, God. Yeah, you get down here. Alright. Just wanna make sure you didn't turn around and boomerang me. Alright, I will kill him. Alright, stun your ass. I don't want you getting all up in my grill now. Die. Okay, now what do we got? Ooh. Got some wall masters making their return. Now we got ropes of blue gorillas and bubbles. Got a cornucopia of different enemies here. Stun, stun, stun. Come on, stun, stun, stun. Plug, stun, plug, plug. Ah! I am victorious once again. Okay, more keys. Let's kill these bats. I don't want to go batty anymore with them. And I stunned the Stalfos. Not my intention, but whatever. Right. Oh, these bubbles are going to be in quite a precarious position. I'm going to stand over here and kill the Stalfos. Ah, damn it, the Stalfos walked on top of me. No matter, though, they drop parts, so I'm back to full health. That helps. Alright, this room can be a little nasty. you got a mix of blue and orange areas here. I killed the blue ones first. They're a bigger threat. Alright, get around. This guy, oh god. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want that orange one throwing a boomerang at me while I'm attacking the blue. It wouldn't be good. I'm gonna stay over here and kill this one. I kill you, you're the bigger threat. Alright, stun you, you die now. Aha! So far, so good. So the stuff was some keys out of my way. Another ruby is mine. Okay, and now we got Aquamentus in the next room. Hopefully we can get to him safely. Ah, stupid bubble. Come on, Gorilla, get over here. Faster! Okay, there we go, got rid of him. And now we pass through this door. We fight Aquamentus! Still a very pathetic boss. Not much tougher than Dongo. Keep firing sword beams. If you have the magic shield, you'll block Aquamentus' beams, no problem. Hooray! Level 2 complete. Second Triforce piece. Gotta love it. And I think we might have time for one more level if I speed it up. <laughs> so we'll try and fit it in. Kill the blue Octa Rocks. That works out. Stop hitting me! Ah! Getting plagued by all these Octa Rocks and Levers. Oh dear god, P hats. Yeah, those things are gonna be kind of annoying. Alright, no enemies on this screen. Alright, let's get our blue candle out, burn this long bush, and. Staircase! Here, young hero, take this as a reward for freeing me. Yay! It's a heart container. Now we got seven of them. Awesome! And now, folks, we progress to the next island. And to do that, we gotta cross this broken bridge while trying not to get sliced by these pea hats. And watch out for the Moblins and the Zoras. They will make this a little treacherous. I wanna cross this broken bridge here. Alright, now we're on the next island. Hooray! There's actually a couple more items we can get here, and I'm going to get those right now. Alright, first we're gonna go way over... Gonna go another screen to the left. Kill some yellow tektites along the way. Kill the red levers. 
Now we gotta burn this tree. Four staircases! Oh my god, but they all lead in the same path. You found me! Here, take this as your reward. Thank you, old man. And that's two old men I've given a heart attack now. And an old woman. Link just loves killing the elderly. Bad, bad Link. Alright, get some more rubies. Save those up. I don't know if there's anything interesting in here, but we'll check it out. No, I don't want to know your secrets, old woman. You probably have dirty secrets, and I don't want to know them. Those are best left unsaid. Alright, let's go over here. Fairy, don't want you. Got full health already. Uh, let's see. More orange moblins, or red. Whatever color, they both have red and orange. And I think I got a ruby grind here. I don't think I have too many secrets to everybody's. At least not in this quest. I don't even remember if I put any in this quest or not. But there is a secret here. Walk through this northern wall. And you get access to this room. Alright, let's kill this Lionel. That works out. And let's go down here. What do we got? Hey, it's the white sword. Epic. And we killed the old man with our white sword. And that's another old man on our hit list. Dead. Yeah, we'll be dealing with more Lionels later on. In the meantime, hack some more Moblins and Octoroks. I forgot how much the blue ring is worth in this game. I think it's like 120. I could be wrong, though. I don't think I made it 250 like the other game. Like the real Zelda. I made mine a lot cheaper. I just hope I have close to enough. I don't know if I do, though. But, let's test our luck. Yeah, it's about 120. Okay. I have to work up 20, uh, a couple more rubies. Hopefully it won't take me too much longer. Worst case scenario, I get my ruby grinding done and we save level 3 for the next part. Which I don't mind. We already got a lot done in this part, and I'm satisfied. We're already almost a fourth of the way through the game. Kill. Die, you blue tech type. And I backstabbed that poor moblin. He just didn't see that white sword coming. I block your spears because I'm pro at defense. Link should be in the NFL. And this path leads to level... Not level 4. Okay, never mind. I forgot there was a heart container up here. That is too pro. Let's go get it now while we're in the neighborhood. Yay, and we kill another old man. Boy, that old man death count is going to be high for this part. Okay, back to our ruby grinding. Yeah, sadly, I don't think we're going to get to level 3 in this video. Definitely the next one, though. I'm almost... Oh, actually, I have enough already. 126. Good. I'm going to save up for arrows next. We won't need them until about, like, uh... I would, I'd like to say level 6, I think? Yeah, I don't think we're going to need arrows to level 6. But still, it's best to buy them early. Because you're going to be encountering Cole's voice later on. And with the arrows, you can one-shot them. Alright, now let's head into the cave. Alright, let's get myself the blue ring. Oh yeah! I'm all souped up and ready for level 3 now. Link is just ridiculously broken now. Oh. Boy, items everywhere. Bombs, hearts, rubies. Alright, let's uh, burn this bush. Access this bush maze, which will take us to level 3. Oh! Geez, I almost got gored by the spear there. Sometimes Link doesn't turn around quick enough. Die. Boy, this game's just feeding me fairies. Alright, die, you black moblin. Kill. Alright, level three. Should I enter it now? You know what? I think we might have time to get it done. I'm gonna have to move quickly, though. Alright, level three. Why not? Let's try and get it finished. I might try and push this video for 32 minutes. I'm feeling ballsy. Kill the... Yeah, you got... Yeah, in this level, you got the debut of the Rope 2s. Stronger versions of the regular ropes. Not too much stronger. 
Anyways, in this level we also got the debut of the statue head shooting beams. And they're mixed in with some keys who are camouflaging with the tiles. And of course you got the corner traps in here. Pretty formidable room. Next we got wall masters and bubbles. Blue gorillas and rope twos. Another nasty room here. Burn! The blue candle commands it. Okay, dodge the bubbles and now we're gonna go into this doorway. Bastard bubble. Alright, now we got some Zoles and Bats and Bubble to deal with. How I love that combo from the original Zelda. Those are a fun room. Alright, we're gonna unlock this door. Ignore the enemies and press on. Alright, Digdongo, let's get our bombs out. Smite them with smoke. Like I said, drop the first bomb, then immediately drop the second once you got them locked in. And then stab them with... Oh, crap, my, my timing was off on that one a little bit. Usually I'm a little better at that. There we go. Boom. There we go. Nailed it that time. Alright, turn around, you. Alright, he's gone. Don't have to stab him now. Dead. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, level 4 introduces new obstacle. Lovely. Can't wait to see what that is. Kill Stalfos. Come on. Oh yeah, we got Stalfos 2 now. They throw swords as opposed to the regular Stalfos, which just kind of move around the room and do nothing. Watch out, the swords hurt. Traps, however, don't really. <laughs> I'd rather take a trap hit than a Stalfos sword hit. Kill. Okay. I think we gotta go into this room. Alright, I got some blue gorillas in here and some keys. And of course I get caught by the boomerang. Oh, arg. Alright, that's it, you blue gorilla. Cut it out. Die. Let me get my fairy. Sword in the face, gone. Alright, now let's press on. Hey, you don't have to worry about the traps trying to get you because the bushes will block them off. Is there anything interesting up here? Aha, there is. Yeah, you gotta kill the gels in this room quickly because they'll transform into Zoles, so you gotta be quick. Alright, we're smoking these guys. And now we get the whistle for our next item. Awesome. And now let's get to the end of level 3. Try and move as quickly as I can. Alright, kill the style post. Ah, crap, I just got sorted in the back there. No matter. That's why we got the blue ring. We would have taken two hearts of damage if we had the green mail. Now we only take one since we got the blue. That's why it's so vital to get the blue ring early on. Anyways, rematch with Aquamentus now. He dies in three hits with the white sword. Pathetic. Alright, this room. Kill Gorillas. Ow. Die. Yeah, the white sword gets rid of these blue Gorillas pretty quickly and efficiently. Die. Die. And that room had nothing. Oh well. Now let's go this way. I believe we gotta get a key in here, if I'm not mistaken. They got some Wall Masters, Stalfos 2, Orange Gorillas, and Bubbles. There we go, cleaned out that room quick. Alright, now let's get to the end. Not too much more to go. Alright, another trap-filled room, straight down. And don't worry about the traps, they won't get you. The bushes will block them off here. But watch out though, in level 4, the traps will go right through the bushes. But here, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's boomerang this blue gorilla. Die. Stun. Die. Alright, and... Now we got a mega room here. We got wall masters, gorillas, keys, zoles, bubbles. It's an enemy gauntlet here. Or an enemy battle royale. <laughs> and I wonder who could be the next boss. Well, we got a whistle, so it must be Dig Dogger, who has statue help and trap support. But with the whistle, he's still nothing. And with the boomerang, he's still nothing. <laughs> And with the white sword, again, he is nothing. Die. Heart container. And just like that, we get our third Triforce piece. Hooray! Level 3 complete. Boy, we've made some great headway in Part 1 already. Alrighty, folks. Definitely gonna have to cut it off now because we're on the 30-minute mark now. We're getting really closing in on it. Anyways, stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Islands of Death for Zelda Classic Part 2. And we'll tackle Level 4 and onward. Later, peoples.